हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू द कोर्स अ बिगनर्स गाइड टू टेलीकॉम ओएसएस एंड बीएसएस फॉर द मोबाइल नेटवर्क्स दिस इज अ कंसाइज एंड कॉम्प्रिहेंसिव कोर्स अबाउट बीएसएस एंड ओएसएस इन टेलीकॉम बीएसएस स्टैंड्स फॉर बिजनेस सपोर्ट सिस्टम एंड ओएसएस स्टैंड्स फॉर ऑपरेशन सपोर्ट सिस्टम्स एंड दीज टू सिस्टम्स आर द टू मेन पिलर्स ऑफ द टेलीकॉम इंडस्ट्री that are used to improve the end to end services for the customers and in order to grow the business of the telecom companies now this course starts with the definition of what is a communication service provider and how the introduction of the computers and the software applications has impacted the telecom industry and how does oss and bss fit into the bigger picture of the telecom ecosystem and then we will discuss that what is the basic process flow that is used in order to provide a service to a customer and what are the oss and bss building blocks that are used in order to provide and build that service so we will discuss all these blocks and then we will discuss that how mobile communication systems evolved from the 1g to the 5g and how charging and billing is done in these mobile networks since the charging and billing is a very important part of the bss and the oss and we will start with the charging and billing of the 2g gsm networks first we will discuss the gsm architecture from the charging and billing perspective and then we will discuss the call flow for a post paid voice call how offline charging system is used for the charging and billing of this call and what are the main components of this offline charging system and then we will discuss the the online charging system and how this online charging system is used for the charging and billing of a prepaid voice call flow we will also discuss that in the case of gprs and edge how charging of the data calls is different from the charging of the voice calls and then we discuss the charging and billing in the 3g and 4g for which we use the policy and charging architecture which is also called as the pcc and it was mainly deployed for the 4g so we will discuss that how this pcc architecture is integrated into the 4g lt architecture and how the offline charging system of pcc is used in order to charge and bill a post paid call flow we will also discuss the online charging system of pcc and what are the online charging scenarios and there are three main scenarios for the online charging of a prepaid call flow and then we will discuss the charging and billing architecture that is used in the 5g networks and what is the importance of the charging function in that architecture we will discuss the offline charging scenarios which are used for the post paid calls and we will discuss the online charging scenarios which are used for the prepaid calls and then we discuss that how interconnect billing takes place in the case of a call that is between the subscribers of different communication service providers and how roaming works in the case of mobile networks and how billing of the roaming is done so again we have first the post paid scenario and we will discuss that in the case of roaming how call routing and billing is done for a post paid call we will discuss the importance of the near real time roaming data exchange and the clearing house in the case of roaming and we will also discuss that in the case of prepaid call during roaming how voice call routing takes place and how data call routing takes place and then we discuss the telecommunications management network model which is also called as the tmn TMN was proposed by ITUT for the management of the telecommunications networks. We will discuss that what are the layers in this model and what is the fault configuration accounting performance and security management in this model. And we will also discuss that how this model is implemented in the mobile networks and what are the basic building blocks in this implementation. 
like element management system, network management system, and the network operations center. And what is their importance in the managing of the mobile network? And then we will discuss that how this TMN model evolved into the telecom operations map model. And then how this telecom operations map model evolved into the enhanced telecom operations map model, which is also called as ETOM. And nowadays ETOM or is almost used by all the mobile network operators to manage their network and their business processes. And this ETOM model has hierarchy of different levels and in each level you have different processes. And we will discuss this hierarchy and these processes. And then we will discuss that how the blocks of the ETOM model can be used to construct detailed business flows. And we will consider the examples of request to answer and usage to payment. Then we will discuss that what is information technology infrastructure library, which is also called as ITIL. And ITIL is a standard of IT best practices. And how does ITIL compare with ETOM? What is the life cycle of an IT service in ITIL? And how ITIL and ETOM can be aligned for best possible outcomes in the management of a telecom company? And we will discuss the example of the enterprise management in this context.